When you try to register a device to Microsoft Intune using the company portal, and you receive the following error message which says something went wrong with the following error code. Um, this is how you're going to res resolve this issue. First of all, you want to go to your Microsoft Intune portal, like the Microsoft Intune Admin Center. So if I go to Enrollment under my Windows and I go to Automatic Enrollment, here you can see that the Windows Information Protection is set to All. And in um, Azure, I set it to None. So what I'm going to do temporarily, temporarily is to set it to None and then click Save. So by clicking Save, if I go back again to my device and I click Done, so let's just wait and you can see it's Add Work or School Account. I'm going to click Add again. So this may take some time to synchronize. So let's just click Next and see. And then I'm going to enter my password. So let's click Sign In. And it says just hold on while we register this device with your company portal and apply policies. So this may take a minute. And here we go, you can see it says done. So we have added your account successfully. You now have access to your organization's apps and services. So I can now click done and I can now click next. And now you can see we don't we are not seeing any error message yet. So let me just click done and that issue is fixed so if you're having this issue this error code that says that your something went wrong and it says your account was not set up on this device because device management could not be enabled you just need to actually disable the windows protection and then the windows information protection and then it's going to actually allow you to configure it and now when we go back again to our uh, let's go back again to device and see here you can see right now we now have two devices so you can see we now have two devices that's the bc001 which is personal and then when i go back again to my um let's go back into azure and we do a refresh and you can see that the bc001 is now microsoft entra registered you can see the, the all these other devices are hybrid but this is actually an entra registered device and it's also being managed by microsoft intune you can see it says compliant it says yes this is not compliant because the device is actually switched off so that is how you actually resolve that is the issue of something went wrong on your device